we should probably get started. Uh, I want to welcome everybody uh, to Boulder Brodery Club, the best place to be in Boulder, Colorado on a Friday afternoon. <clears throat> My name's Bill Meyer. I'm uh, filling in for Sally today. I'm a former president. I was president in 2016-2017. It seems a lot longer ago than that, but uh, the last year has stretched out a while. Uh, now, normally the president <clears throat> rings a bell to open the meeting, uh, but since we're meeting remotely, I looked around the ranch where we live and I don't have a bell. So I got the next best thing to honor our Western heritage. We use that to call our grandkids for lunch. Uh, I'd like to start today with the Pledge of Allegiance and the four-way test and Bob Murphy will lead us with that. And you can stand if you'd like to for this. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And the four-way test, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thanks, Bob. <clears throat> uh, I probably should explain that everything's okay with uh, Sally today. Uh, she had an emergency meeting at work and uh, and simply had to be there. So she asked me to fill in, but everything's, everything's fine. Uh, before the pandemic, I used to have emergency meetings at work too. But uh, it seems like life has changed a bit. About the only emergencies anymore is when Jane traps a live traps a skunk, and she asked me to relocate it somewhere. So that's that's kind of where uh, life has gone for a lot of us these days. But uh, so far, I've always successfully re relocated the skunks without uh, any mishaps. So with that, uh, guests and visitors, Charlotte Rome. Uh, thank you, Bill. And uh, I don't think we have any guests and visitors today, but I'd like to open up the microphone to welcome any that I might have missed. Okay, I think we do not have any guests and visitors today, but welcome to everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Charlotte. Uh, next, I'd like uh, Dr. Rod Tungy to talk to us a little bit about Imagination Library. Hi. Hi, fellow Rotarians and Bill. Want to extend a personal welcome to Bob Murphy, one of our most recent uh, uh, new Rotarians. Bob and uh, Jack Rummel and I set up a dental program in uh, Monte, Mexico. And Bob is actually the one who had did hands-on dentistry there for a number of years until it became too dangerous. So welcome to Boulder Rotary, Bob. We look forward to having you. I know he'll be an excellent member. <clears throat> and Daryl, I hope that your father is doing better. I'm sorry I, if there's been any information published. I, I'm not aware of that. So I sure hope that your father's doing better. Nancy Geyer and I are co-chairs of the... Um, Boulder Rotary Imagination Library Project. Most of you are familiar with this, but some of the your, your newer members aren't. And um, <clears throat> we're the ones who have uh, every year uh, had the, the uh, table in the corner with all the red hearts and the children's names on them. So uh, COVID, as Bill just said, has really thrown quite a curveball for us also. Uh, so direct communication is not possible this year. This great program was the dream, was the dream child of Dolly Parton. Uh, Dolly grew up in a rural east, grew up in rural East Tennessee in a home with no books. In 1995, she developed a program to provide every preschool child in her home county with a free book every month until age five. Therefore, these children have their own libraries that encourage a love of reading and therefore learning. Her program was so successful 
that it is now international. Um, they, shipped, um, they ship 127 million. Uh, they have, since it began, 127 million books. They, uh, they ship 1.7 million books a month now. Uh, there's ample research to show that the early literacy is extremely important. As we know, one of the pri it's one of the primary keys to success in school and life. And one of the best ways that families can uh, provide this is with books that they sit down and read to and then with their children every evening. In coordination with Mile High United Way, we are once again seeking sponsors for needy area children ages one day to five years. The cost is $30 a year. So $30 will send a book every month to a four-year-old and incrementally it increases to $150 for a newborn. Um, uh, 150 may be a little difficult for some people uh, to come up with. So in, in previous years, people have um, partnered with other fellow Rotarians, friends, and they, you know, two people can uh, support that $150 child or three, whatever they want to do. Um, uh, supporters can mail their checks made out to Mile High United Way, not Boulder Rotary Club. Mile High United Way to Nancy Geyer at 4504 Northfield Court in Boulder, 80301. If you prefer using your credit card, you can call me. And that is 303-449-0431. Uh, just like you, we have been inundated with, with phone calls. And so we don't answer any phone calls that, we, that are unknown. So uh, if you'll please call that 303-449-0431 and leave a message with your telephone number, I will get right back in contact with you. Once again, thank you. We hope that we've had this, this has been going on since 2003. We, it's been very successful. So we hope that in this year of COVID that we can do, uh, we can repeat what we've done in the past. Thank you, Lena, for your, all your support today. And thank you, Bill. Thanks, Rod. I appreciate it. It's a wonderful program. Uh, next, Nancy Chen Wagner. I'm not sure she's on, but I. She's I not able to be here today, Bill. And uh, okay. I apologize if that email did not get to you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, birthdays, Dr. George Russell. Yes, it's birthday time. Everybody needs to sit at the birthday table or call me and tell me when you want to talk. Uh, we would have nobody that's signed up to talk today. Uh, and my voice is kind of, uh, kind of bad. So I'm not going to do it. Well, I'll, I'll do a song. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up. On the night that Patty Murphy died, I never shall forget. Everyone got stinking drunk and some ain't sober yet. But the one thing that they did that filled me heart with fear, they took the ice off Patty's corpse and laid it on the beer. Now that's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Yes, that's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. On the night poor Patty died. That's it. Uh, be sure and give my give my cell phone a call if you want to speak next time. Okay. Thanks, George. I 
I'm still trying to connect that to your cowboy poet image, but uh, uh, there, there's what? probably a connection there somewhere. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. And, and as uh, George said, please sit at the, the virtual birthday table and uh, please remember to make your donation to our scholarship fund on your birthday. Uh, next, uh, Fred, I think we're ready for the brew. Hello, Rotarians and guests, and thank you for being here today. March is Water and Sanitation Month. More than 2.5 billion people lack access to adequate sanitation facilities, and at least 3,000 children die each day from diarrheal diseases caused by unsafe water. Our projects give communities the ability to develop and maintain sustainable water and sanitation systems and support studies related to water and sanitation. March 6, 2020 was the last day we met together at the JCC. Now is not the time to be removing your mask. It's the time to continue to wear your mask until the vaccines are all in place and we will all be together again, just like Marty. Here's shaking her tail feathers. And then the people rejoiced. Woo! Drinks are on Brady. <laughs> a little bit late to hit the newsreel here, but on Sunday, February 14th, our new member, Ben Jilo, had a baby delivered. So, welcome to Graham Henry Fleming Jilo. And anybody else having a baby, out of all our members, let us know. You'll get in the brew, too. See you, Boulder Rotaract. Their trivia night is tonight, and Daryl and Sally Brown will be there. There will be a room full of fabulous prizes. There is still a link in the rib to sign up and come join us. We're going to have lots of fun. Bring your cocktails. It's going to be awesome. See you there. And the next volunteer opportunity for Natural High's Intergenerational Philosophy Circle is Saturday, March 13th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. It's on Zoom and it's easy to participate and very rewarding. Norma Portnoy is the pertinent version to contact and please get with her and volunteer. You heard the announcement earlier, so this is a reminder to give to the Imagination Library. Provide books to Boulder County children. And give the gift of reading. And speaking of reading, and being the person you mean to be, give with the book club, April 12th. Contact Sue Deans or Darla Sheath. And the book is The Person You Meant to Be. Hey, Coker, good job today. Remember, it's Water and Sanitation Month. It's going to be an awesome weekend. Get out there and enjoy the weather. And everybody, say it with us now. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. And take care of yourself and each other. I think I, we all join with what Daryl said uh, on two fronts. One, Coker, great job. Chris, it was a, a tremendous program. And, and two, everybody take care of yourselves. I think we're all looking forward to the hopefully not too distant future when uh, this will be a thing of the past and we can all sit around together and swap a few yarns and, and maybe a few lies. But uh, in any event, everybody enjoy this weekend. Have a great weekend and meeting adjourned.